In this video, we will review the out-of-the-box reporting and analytics capabilities of TIBCO Mashery. The starting point is the executive summary page, which provides a high-level view of your API program. At the top of this page, we have a calendar-based heat map that shows daily activity for key metrics. This is a great way to quickly identify hotspots. Below that, we have three additional sections that summarize key performance indicators for different audiences. A management dashboard shows an overview of metrics related to API call activity, such as overall call volume or the rate of change over a period of time. There's a technical summary that shows platform information, such as the overall health, availability, and performance and throughput. There's also a developer summary that monitors developer activity, such as new members, application registrations, and key assignments. The next category we want to look at is reporting. Reports are broken down into two groupings, reports by package and reports by API. On the initial packages page, you will see a summary section for all packages with a graph of usage by package. Below that is a table for all defined packages. From the table, we can drill down to information on the most used package called Partner Accelerator. This expands to a package overview, breaking down metrics into a number of top five method categories. It also shows the top 10 most active developers. At a high level, we can look at the API usage data. This shows various statistics like a profile of calls by hour and even geographic location. The API usage spotlights show trends over three, 14, and 30-day periods on a number of metrics. The system status graphs latency metrics and error rates with a drill down to show these values by method. Also, under system status, we can see cache statistics that are broken down by overall package details, by API and plan, and all the way down to developer key. This shows the cache effectiveness and the effect that changing the caching parameters may have. The Services Reporting tab follows the same structure and layout that we just looked at for the Packages tab. 